Welcome back. We're going to start round two of our funky colored lizards. And to do that, I want to talk a little bit about a color family. Now, you probably know the primary colors, and you probably know the secondary colors. And many of you probably already know warm and cool colors, but I want to talk about them for just a second because they are kind of important. Now, you might think of the warm colors as like colors of the sun that are kind of warm and fiery looking and, um, and kind of keep that warm look to your pictures. And cool colors as kind of icy colors or nighttime colors that look like they're a little cooler t tempered or something. But the reason they're like that is this. If I take my three primary colors, so let's say I have blue, I'll make a little blue swerve. Let's say I have blue, and my other primary colors, as you know, are red. And last but not least, yellow. Amarillo, amarillo. Now, I've got my three primary colors. And then from there, when you mix these together, I'm kind of making a little color wheel right now, you get your secondary colors. So if I mix blue and yellow together, I'm going to get a green. So I'll put green in the middle here because green is between yellow and blue. If I mix yellow and red together, I'm going to get a nice orangey color. So I'll put that between these two. And if I mix blue and red together, as you know, I will get a nice purpley color. Um, so I'll put that between right there. Now, here's a way to think of your warm and cool colors. If you're looking at this little color wheel, this little diagram, and I'm going to turn it on its head a little bit. Um, if I were to separate it, if I were to draw a little line right down the middle like that, this is kind of the division between our warm colors, so red, yellow, and orange, and our cool colors, blue, purple, and green. Now it's kind of weird because the warm colors have two primaries on their side, and the cool colors are made up when you add blue to those two primaries. So um, if you're getting your cool, blue plus yellow is green, blue plus red is purple. So blue is like king of the cool colors because he is a little bit in the other two colors. With red and yellow, they're so warm and bright and their little in-between sister right here, orange, that they kind of make up my warm colors. So that's just one way to look at it and kind of why we separate them like that. Blue is the one that's really cool and when you mix him with the other two, you get the other two cool colors. Warm is red and yellow and orange. So we're going to be Ew, I made my paper gross. We're going to be making a background for our lizard today. And I want you to choose, um, let me grab this real quick. I want you to choose either warm or cool colors for both parts. What I mean by that is, let's say you have chosen that you want your lizard to be warm colors. So if you choose warm colors for your lizard, I want your background to be cool colors. Or let's say you want a cool colored lizard. That means I want your background to be warm colors. So you're gonna need a second piece of paper and we're gonna make a background that is the opposite of your lizard. So Mr. Galloway is just going to pick one. I'll make my lizard warm and my background cool. Okay? You might do that or maybe you're going to flip it. It's up to you. But you can kind of pick. Now, and then for your background, I'm going to let you pick whatever you want to do as long as you stick with that color family. Okay? So I'm choosing cool colors. I'm only going to use my cool colors, purple, green, and blue. And I'm going to try to make an entire background with them. You could make it like a place, like um, let's say you made it like a little pond and some grass and some stones. Um, you could make it look like a place, or you could just make it patterns if you want to. It's totally up to you. 
I'm going to make mine patterns just to kind of quickly make one. But if you want to make it a place, as long as you're sticking with the right color family, that's fine. You could make cool colors be a nice place. Like you could have grass and a pond and some like little purples in it somehow, like stones that are purple. That would be awesome. Or you could kind of um, just do patterns and shapes and designs. Um, as long as you don't use any of the wrong color family. So I'm picking cool for mine. So I'm just gonna quickly do some cool designs using cool colors on mine real quick. crazy looking background for mine. I stuck with a pattern, if you noticed. I went like wavy green, wavy purple, wavy blue, wavy green, wavy purple, wavy blue. And I did that over and over and over. I only used cool colors and I made it look awesome. Now, for your lizard, we're gonna do the opposite. So I did cool colors on my background. For my lizard, I wanna stick with warm colors. So I'm just gonna quickly color in my lizard. Now I know it might take you a while to paint both. If you wanna break this up into days, like you could do your background today and paint your lizard later, that's fine. You don't have to do this all today. But if you have time and you want to, go for it. So I'm gonna paint my lizard using warm colors real quickly. <laughs> lizard is painted with warm colors. My background is painted with cool colors. They are complete opposites of each other. And next week, we're going to make this finished and epic. So I'm going to let this dry. But I hope you guys had fun with your lizard and your background. You're going to really like how we finish this next week, and I can't wait to share it with you. All right, guys. Stay arty.